Uh, that's the persistent criticism, is it? Well, I... Uh, and the trouble is, you see, that these things, again, as I was saying earlier, are so personal. It's, it's difficult to know quite how to, you know, to talk about these things in, in front of everybody. And obviously, I don't think many people would want to. But, I mean, all I can say is that the, the, there's been so much... Um, speculation, feeding on every other kind of speculation that you know, it all becomes bigger and bigger. And all I can say is um, that uh, I mean there is no truth in, in, in so much of this speculation. And uh, um, Mrs. Parker Bowles is a great friend of mine. I have a large number of friends I'm terribly lucky to have so many friends who I think are wonderful and uh, make the whole difference to my life which would become intolerable otherwise and she has been a friend for a very long time and uh, along with a lot of other friends and will continue to be a friend for a very long time and I think also uh, most people probably would, would realize that when marriages break down awful and miserable as that is that so often, you know, that it is your friends who are the most important and um, helpful and understanding and encouraging. Otherwise, you would go start raving mad. And uh, that's what friends are for. Understandably, uh, when your marriage collapsed, you form close friendships. You uh, re-establish close friendships of whatever character that friendship is. Were you, did you try to be faithful and honourable to your wife when you took on the vow of marriage? Yes, absolutely. And you were? Yes. Until it became irretrievably broken down. Us both having tried. You've been very open about all of this and what you've what you've said. Do you now hope that this issue and expect this issue to go away? Would, is that what you hope will now happen? Well, it would be a bit nice if it did, from everybody's point of view. I mean, I don't think many other people have to go through this constant uh, attention, not just me, but others, you know, when their marriages break down. I mean, as, I, as I've said before, it is a deeply regrettable thing to happen. But uh, it does happen, and unfortunately, in this case, it has happened. I mean, it's the last possible thing that I ever wanted to happen. I'm not a total idiot. I do <laughs> unaware of all these um, problems. And as I was saying as before, this business of predicting what everybody would say, it's not something that I went into marriage, you know, with the intention of this happening, or in any way in a cynical frame of mind. I mean, I... I'm, on, on the whole, not a cynical person. And, uh, you know, I have... I... I, I, I sound self-righteous to say so, but I have, on the whole, tried, I think, to, to get it right. I mean, constantly, people scrutinizing. So, I mean, it, it, it... I have always tried to get it right, and tried to do the, the right thing by everybody. So you can imagine, it's, it's not... It's not a very um, happy or encouraging thing when this sort of business happens. So, obviously, it would be nice if, you know, if it could be over and done with. I mean, it has happened. That is, that is that, regrettably. <laughs>